guys, it's Donna with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I bring you a new wholesaler, internet fashion. So, about a week ago, I received an email from um, this company, it's called Internet Fashion Wholesale, um, and they were wondering if I would like to try out one of their kits, basically, that they sell. Um, they wanted me to show you guys what they offer, um, so I thought it would be great to do a video to show you some options for wholesale. Um, if you're at home like I am, um, I'm really not going back out to the thrift stores for a while, um, so I've been doing these wholesale sources from home. You basically go online, you find these great deals, and you have them shipped to your house. It's great. You don't have to go out, you don't have to go shopping, you get all the sourcing to yourself. The only downfall to this is that most of them are mysteries. So you really don't know what you're getting. You kind of get a general idea. Um, this company sells a variety of different things. Um, what I have today are dresses. Um, a lot of them could be brand uh, brand names. They could have new with tags. They might be shelf pulls. They might be customer returns. Some of them might be damaged. Um, you kind of get a mixed lot is what I'm understanding, but I've never purchased from this company before. So we're gonna see today what they have to offer. Uh, and then possibly you guys will also uh, wanna take a look and see what they also offer. I'll leave the link in the description below so that if you are curious and you want to see what they have, um, you can certainly go to their website. The other thing that they promote on the website is that you can buy smaller quantities, which really helps the smaller resellers, or if you're just getting started, or you wanna see what it's all about. You can even buy one piece as like a sampling just to see what you might get. So if you're scared to spend a lot of money, it's a great way that you can kind of experiment with this company um, and see what they might send you. So today, like I said earlier, our dresses, this is a 10 piece lot. Um, this sells for $90 on their website, but they said that the individual dresses have a MSRP of up to $79.99. So if that's the case, and there's some in here that are new with tags, that would basically carry the lot and get the money back. Um, so let's not dilly dally. Let's go ahead and jump in. If you've used this company before, please make sure you leave some comments below and let me know what your thoughts are on this company. Um, I wasn't paid to do this. They just sent me the items so that I could show you guys what all is in here. So this is the package I received. Really big bag. Um, it reminds me a lot of what I recently received from a different wholesale company. Um, if you're not sure, um, if you've seen that video before, I will leave the link up here somewhere so you can go back and take a look at it. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in. I wanna be careful because I don't wanna cut anything that's in the bag. I don't know if it's sealed on the inside, um, but it is taped up really nicely. Let's see if I can find a spot here to get my scissors in. Heading into this. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of exploding on me. So you can see a whole lot of blacks and colors and some things are wrapped and some things aren't. So I'm glad I was very careful with how I opened the bag. Um, so if you get one of these, make sure you do that. So let's go ahead and pull out the top and see what we have. So it's a really pretty tealy green color dress it looks like. Let's see here. So here is a tag. This is from Macy's, which that's great. It says here the original ticket price was $139. The current ticket price is $83.40. Um, now let's see here, it does say damage tag. So we have to figure out what. This is a Jessica Howard. Now some of these brands I may not know either, but it's a really cute, long formal type dress it looks like. It's got this like wrapped bow detail in the front. Um, it's really long. Let's see if I can get the whole thing in here. Sorry, I should have a wider camera angle here. Um, but it's really cute. I'm not quite sure what is damaged about it offhand. Just look in here. I see a tag. Let's see if the zipper works. The zipper works okay. There might be a spot. My lighting's not that great right now, so maybe I'm missing a spot. Looks like it has a nice slit in the front too for your leg to pop out. The only thing I'm seeing is there's a couple little, you're probably not gonna see it in the camera, but there's a couple of little pick marks maybe down here by the seam, um, which makes you almost think maybe they wore it one time and then returned it. Um, so I don't know, but it still has that, it's just a return tag though, so I really couldn't sell it probably as new with tags. But even so, I mean, if that's the retail price, I probably still hopefully can get maybe $50 for this. I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some research. Um, if I find any comps, I'll try to leave them along the way. It's size 10, um, and then that way, you can kind of get an idea of what I might actually sell it for. All right, let's see what else. This black dress is kind of jumping out at me. All wrapped up here. 
Okay, so this looks like another formal dress because I see the beading kind of jumping out at me here. So let's see if I can find the end here. Let's see what we've got and pull it out. All right, I see a tag, that makes me happy. All right, it says it's washable, which is surprising. It has a lot of beading on it. Made in America, R&M Richards, size four. Doesn't say the price on it, um, but let's see. Let's pull it up here and see what it is. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that, that's really royal looking. Oh, that's very long again. Um, looks like there might be, ah, might be a slit in the bottom here too but I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, it looks brand new. It still has the tags on it. Um, so that's awesome. Again, I just don't know the brand name. I've never heard of that before. If you have, please leave a comment below um, and I'll look it up for you guys before I post the video so you kind of have an idea of what that is. That's pretty. All right, let's keep digging. All right, another new with tags here. looks like maybe a return. So this one is by Calvin Klein. I'm really happy about that. Um, it's a 16 wide. Again, a really good size, I think. And it says the MSRP, let's get that up in the camera, is $100. Sorry, white still show. There you go, Calvin Klein. Um, but it does have a tag on it. And I don't know what this tag means. It doesn't necessarily say that it's damaged, but let's pull it up and see here. So this one is a sleeveless, cute little dress. And then it's got, looks like, oh, there is a hole. But you know what? I have a sewing machine, so I can sew that up. It's right on the seam. There's like this belting detail here. Um, and it just looks like it's right along the seam. So that should be a really easy fix. Um, and then on the bottom, this is really cool. It's got this sheer striped detailing around the bottom, which I really, really like. Um, so that's a really cute dress. So hopefully I'll be able to stitch that up and sell it. <laughs> New with tags, and of course I'll put in there that I've mended one of the seams, but I think that that will definitely sell really well. Okay, I see a cool little red dress in here. Let's see what this one is. All right, so this one, it looks like may have been Lauren Ralph Lauren, but the tag has been cut out, but I'm very familiar with that brand. So that's the color and the tag style. Let's see if the back says anything, no. Um, so I'm not sure. And this looks like Polo Bell Ralph Lauren. Hmm, I don't know what that means. Something defaced it says, but let's see here. So this is a really pretty red dress. Let's see what's wrong with it. I feel like I'm hunting and picking here. Um, and this one has a cute little wrap belt around it, it looks like. I'm not seeing anything. You know, the only thing I see is that that tag was cut out. So hopefully that is the only issue. Otherwise, it's really nice long red slinky dress is what it looks like. And I think I can still market it as a Lauren Ralph Lauren. Um, and sometimes there's an inside tag. I'll have to dig around a little bit um, that shows like the care instructions. So if I can find that or anything on here that indicates that it's Ralph Lauren, that will help me out. Um, but I can just say in there that the tag was cut out. I don't think that that's a huge deal. And I that brand still sells really well for me. Um, so I think overall that's a really nice dress as well. All right. I love these bags that, you know, I'm so used to the boxes from ThreadUp, but the last two bags that I've gotten, I feel like they just overflow. Like they just keep coming, which I love. All right, so this one is like a crepey pleated golden black dress. Um, and there is a tag still on it. So this might just be a return. This is again, Jessica Howard. Um, and they've whited out the pricing on it, but to size six, like I said, it's brand new with tags. It doesn't say what's wrong with it, if there is anything wrong with it. Um, but again, a nice, long, slinky dress. Sleeveless, this is really pretty actually, <laughs> with this belt of detail. I'm not a big gold fan, but this is really pretty. Like if you walked in the room with this, you'd be like, bam, <laughs> who is that? This is really cute. Um, and it's a nice size again, that six is a nice size. Um, it's a really cool material with this pleating detail, which makes it kind of shimmer and shine. So I'm just gonna have to look over these dresses really well, just to make sure that there's nothing wrong. You always wanna check to make sure the zippers work really well. Um, this one's got a built-in cups here for the chest area. So I like that feature. Um, so you don't have to wear an undergarment, maybe if you're lucky. Um, so that's really nice. I like it. Hmm. 
Does that fit me? <laughs> I don't have anywhere to wear it. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we have. All right. So this one is a Bailey 44. There's a line drawn through it. It says DIY work. Hmm. So this looks like it has some makeup around the collar. But let me show you what it looks like. It might be hard to see with the lighting and the camera. But it is a vintage style um, dress with like a lacy detail. I'll get it closer so you can see it better there. That lacy detail down the front. So it's kind of vintage-esque um, in this flow. It kind of reminds me of what Jenny wears in uh, Forrest Gump when <laughs> she gets married. Um, but I think that's in right now. I definitely think that that style is in. It's got a cute pretty bow wrap here that goes around. Um, but again, I think there is some like makeup around the um, edging there. It's really hard to show you guys in the camera, I think, but you might be able to get a glimpse of it. Um, that someone had something up around their neck and they probably had foundation that rubbed off on it. Um, so that's the only thing I see. It says DIY work, so I'm not quite sure. It's a really long, pretty dress at the bottom, a very nice sheer, and it even has a liner in it. Um, did I say what size it was? I don't know if I said what size it was. Extra small, <laughs> so that definitely won't fit me. Um, not really my style, but that'd be really cute for a casual wedding, I think, or if you're into the vintage style, that would be really pretty. Um, let's see here. So this one here, I see a tag again. Vince Camuto. Um, I hadn't heard of this brand until recently. I had a shoe box um, that I got and this brand was in there. So I didn't know they made clothes as well. So it's kind of weird and ironic that I hear the brand twice. Um, but this here says it's an MSRP of $138. This one is a size 12. Vince Camuto. And it is a white and black striped dress it looks like. So here's the front. Oh, it's got a cross detail. That's really pretty. And then the back goes out into stripes. Um, but it's brand new with tags. I'm not really seeing any issues. It's got a nice little slit there in the back in the right place. Let's unzip it and see. You know, some companies just don't put returns back on the racks. Um, and then these larger companies like Internet Fashion will go on and buy them in bulk. Um, and so then they're selling it to us. So yeah, so the Vince Camuto in size 12. I don't know, have you ever sold this brand before? Like I said, I've seen it twice now recently, so I apparently need to make myself knowledgeable on this brand. Um, but let me know in the comments if this is something that's successful for you, something that you sell. Um, oh, now I'm seeing a little bit of possible color issues. It looks like there is a little bit of dirt on the front. Uh, you may or may not be able to see that there, but that might have been from where they stored it before they put it on the rack. Like it almost just looks like I'm really sorry that that white has a weird reflection there, but you can see a little bit of that spot there. So I'm gonna have to see if I can maybe just spot clean it and there's a little bit of a line that goes up the front there. So that's okay. I definitely think that that's something that is fixable. All right, so let's see what else we have here. This one is a blue slinky dress again for a nice occasion. This is by Xscape. Xscape. And this one is doesn't say, it says it's a sample. So I've never heard of sample dresses and I don't even know how you obtain them, but this is really pretty. It's got a lot of beading detail at the top. This would be a really nice prom dress. Um, and then the beading continues in a design throughout the dress and then it's got this sheer flowy skirt at the bottom. So it looks like it's fitted with kind of like that flow at the bottom, um, but that's really cute. And if it's a sample, I wouldn't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just a matter of I kind of like the idea of a sample. Does that mean it hasn't hit the market yet? I don't know. I don't know what that means, um, but that's really pretty. So I like that. Not sure how you get into it though. It doesn't really have a zipper or anything. And maybe because it's a sample, um, it doesn't have the zipper in it or I'm just missing it right now. Um, but that's really pretty. I like that. Somebody will buy that for prom. Okay, looks like we have two more. And this one's kind of jumping out at me. Whoa. <laughs> Plus it has some purple in it. This one is ABS. Alan Swartz. Hmm, looks fancy though. Let's see, the tag. There. It almost looks like a little matchbox. It opens up. Ooh, it's like a golden ticket. Never heard of that. Certi certificate of Authenticity. Is this a nice brand? Is this something I should know about? Hmm. All right, so this one is a strapless. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Look at this thing. This goes up around the neck like a halter to help hold up the center part. And it looks like it just has some pleating on there. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Look at the pleating detail. 
This is like a sheer type of lightweight material and then it just flows. That's beautiful. Of course, I love the purple on it too. Oh my word, what size is this? Oh, I don't have a place to wear it though. Size zero, okay. So if you have a friend that would really love this dress, <laughs> you know, size zero, but that is beautiful. Um, but that could be a reason too why it doesn't sell, but that is amazing. And the way the tag is made, it's all fancy. It's certificate of authenticity. I'm thinking this one might be a good seller. It has a really long zipper in the back. Um, so I don't know, I'm kind of curious about this one because I have no clue and why would it be in here? So I'll leave some comps. How's that sound? Oh, now I'm getting the zipper stuck. All right, I like that one. Wish that fit me. That I would totally wear. All right, and then the last dress here is a pretty green color. Again, I'm seeing some tags. This one's Nina Austin. And this one, let's see here if it has a price or not. It's got also got a little booklet thing going on. That's different. I like a little pouch. Don't know what that's for. All right, let's see what it looks like. This is a size small. Looks like this can be a convertible. Yep, so you can either wear it. It sounds like a pageant dress. You can wear it strapless or it has... <laughs> Look at there. <laughs> Some detachable, adjustable straps as well if you feel more comfortable with the straps. Um, but do you guys see that beading detail? Look how pretty that is and it wraps in the front. And then again, it just flows. I mean, that is beautiful. These long dresses, oh my goodness. And the fact that it's new with tags, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out. Maybe it was just a return, who knows? But look at this pretty like pleating going on in the back here. I'm really impressed to be honest with you. I think that this is a marvelous bag. Um, like I said, it's 10 pieces for $90. Um, so you are paying about $9 a gown. Um, but I think the ones that are brand new, especially these ones here towards the end, I feel like that will more than make up for the bag. Um, I'm hoping I can find some comps for these for you guys so you can kind of see whether or not this is something you want to look at. The company, again, I'll just say it one more time, is internetfashionwholesale.com and I will leave the link in the description below. Um, um, I'm hoping maybe I can get you guys a discount as well. If I do, I will leave that in the links below as well. What did you guys think? I would love to hear from you guys. Is this a company that, that you think you might go check out? I can't talk today. Um, please leave some comments below and let me know. Also, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel as always and click that bell so you know when the next ones are coming out. All right, guys, until next time, happy selling.